Hey everyone, welcome back to another What Terraria Should Have Been video. Today we are checking now what Terraria Fishing slash Fishing Rod should have been. Thanks to the Battle Rods mod. Yes, sir. I have done a playthrough with the Battle Rods mod a long time ago. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and look it up on the channel. But yeah, fishing in video games. A lot of video games have fishing and 99.9% .9 of the time, it is really boring. It's either just straight up fishing with barely any rewards or it can be fun sometimes. One good example of a pretty fun fishing mini game would be like Stardew Valley. I do enjoy their little fishing mini game in that. But even then Stardew Valley, it can still be boring fishing, man. Terrain area is another one where it's like at least you get good rewards when you fish but it can still be boring if you guys have ever done like a only fishing playthrough in terraria like that straight up knocks out ever wanting to fish again and i've done a only fishing playthrough back in the day like 1.2 era i think when duke fisher on came out for the first time i did a fishing playthrough it's on the channel and man did that make me never want to fish again in terraria but you know we got mods man and mods always make things better especially if you wanted to do a fishing only class let's get to it baby we got a lot of stuff to go over here this might be a long video let's start with these rods right here okay we are starting with the pre-hard mode rods maybe we'll do the hard mode ones directly after that we'll probably go to like armors or something after that but let's get to the action so the battle rods mod adds in a way to fish only and also fight because they're battle rods you can battle things while fishing good example here look at this this is how the fighting works I know it can be kind of boring, but at the same time, it's fishing. What did you expect? It's honestly more entertaining being able to do damage. And plus, the rods do get crazier and crazier. There's a lot of like accessories and goodies that go along with them. Like it does honestly get insane. Honestly, like it was one of the strongest terrarium playthroughs I've ever done. Class playthroughs was this fishing playthrough. And uh, as you can see, there's like baits and stuff. Frostburn bait, Icor baits, Cursed Flame bait. Like this class is actually pretty entertaining. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna go through a couple of these pretty fast here because a lot of them don't have anything to do yet and look at look at just the information you get hit with here tensile strength two second bobs 1.3 like i don't even know what this stuff even means requires bait to catch fish obviously come on now. yeah we got the wooden run here does a decent amount of damage uh, and this is without any accessories or anything on we got the cactus one prickly i guess we might as well see the damage from all of them right we might as well let's go ahead let's see the damage now the damage speed like how fast it ticks depends on rods accessories armor so it is a really unique class oh look how fast the copper one did damage there a lot faster than our first two and a lot more damage obviously a copper weapon doing a lot more damage who would have thought moving on to the tin one we're gonna we're gonna be seeing a lot of the same oh the tin one at least insta kills very nice moving on to the iron one and i guess we'll just say lead one two boom there's the stats uh obviously early game rods we're not gonna see too many special abilities on them once we get later into the rods then we'll see some more special abilities let's go ahead let's switch to a different enemy here let's use a zombie still doing good damage honestly this reminds me of the summoner in terms of you know not having to do anything to fight and you know i love summoner you know i love being able to lay back and do nothing zombie let's bring in the zombie we're using the silver and the tungsten battle rod here really effective what that say? really effective against werewolves the silver one hold up let me bring in a werewolf then the extra damage on the werewolf oh that's actually kind of cool <laughs> are terraria silver weapons like that in general i have no idea but i like the little cool detail let's use the tungsten one here on a zombie dead we should slowly be getting into the more unique ones obviously we got to get past all the ore ones but look at that yes sir the cooler ones are coming literally cooler one but yeah let's see the gold and the platinum one i can hear the money raining down not a golden fishing rod it is a golden battle rod but it's not the golden fishing rod keep that in mind does a lot more damage obviously as we go up they're gonna do a lot more damage on to this one our first unique one the star mix battle rod doubles the damage against bosses so let's see it against a regular zombie here see the beautiful damage almost one taps the zombie but let's bring in a boss to test it on king slime look at the damage not bad and this is without any armor or accessories you know what oh i forgot that we can reel ourselves in watch this you saw how i'm like getting reeled in <laughs> oh yeah I'm reeling myself into the King Slime because obviously the King Slime is bigger than me, so he's definitely gonna reel us in. But yeah, let's let's send out a regular zombie here. This is the reel in, as you can see. Pretty cool. 
I don't know if it works on enemies that are bigger than you. Maybe the later rods work like that, but a feature that I completely forgot. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. We have the Corruption and Crimson Battle Rod. Very slight mana siphon. Very slight life of steel. Why did I say it like that? I said it like Mario. Uh, obviously, mana siphon. If you're using mana, you siphon it off of enemies. Plain and simple. You get that mana back. And obviously, the life steal. Let me take some damage here. Let's take a little bit of damage and then let's go ahead. Let's life steal it back. Uh, probably not going to life steal too much off of these little enemies, but you know it works life steal is always one of those things in uh video games where you really got to be careful because it could be too op the angler just chilling right here what's up bro next up we have the cooler battle rod so you can see it doesn't do a lot of damage but allows you to use three different powered baits at once so this is more of like a debuff rod because obviously look at this barely doing damage i could steal real things in but then let's whip out like three baits and let's see let's see what do i want let's get some poison let's get some icor and let's get some frost burn who's trying to get hit by all three of these give me a tankier enemy give me a goblin warrior he's trying to run i'm gonna reel his ass in get over here i don't know how long it takes for the baits to proc but so far they're not proc either i don't know how they work or i don't know i just feel like i don't know how they work either way this dude is not getting away from me <laughs> he's staying over here all right next up we got the jungle battle rod let's actually poison him for real this time it's hard to tell if a goblin is poisoned because obviously the poison effect is green i can barely even tell with the zombie all right on to our last set of rods here i should probably get rid of these baits uh we got the dungeon battle rod i feel like i'm being watched facts on god i do feel like that every day because i literally got thousand people watching me every day literally uh good damage i like the bobber on it how it's a little skull very nice fits the dungeon theme next up we got the hellstone one sets enemies on fire can fish in lava beautiful let's go ahead and set this boy on fire Oof, he's heating up literally it's just a little dot effect and then it does the actual damage too pretty damn good pretty good next up we got our nice edge equivalent right here the edge battle rod the name a little bit sus you know the edging battle rod is some people might confuse it as the edging rod edging my rod see you see where it could get a little crazy uh we got the b battle rod this one should be pretty self-explanatory hey can you stop attacking it i know i sent you over here as a guest host bro but you gotta go he didn't go that far i gotta send him further get the fuck out of here all right back to what i was doing before he kept on rudely interrupting me bees oh we don't even get to see the bees spawn in because the dude died so quickly there you go there was like one bee uh it said so many bees but i saw, saw like one we got the meteor one which also sets enemies on fire cool does good damage too that's all the pre-hard mode battle rods rest in peace to angler man how are you an angler but die as soon as you touch the ocean all right let's move on to the armors here we got a good bit of armors they do stretch a good bit across the playthrough which you love to see because i know some classes some mods that like straight up overhaul classes will still barely add in armors for that overhaul class like i know there's a couple mods that will have like a whole class and then there's like three armors for that whole class and it's like how does that work bro <laughs> how do you got the class weapons going to the moon lord but you only got three armors but yeah let's go ahead let's go through them here let's grab a handful starting with this set right here the vacation set let's go ahead let's throw it on i'm gonna get my character to just be regular set bonus increases fishing damage and bob speed by five percent very cool very cool there actually is a whole wiki for this mod a very nice organized wiki i'll leave it in the description because you know that explains everything like bob speed and all that other information that the rods are giving us real speed bob speed tensile strength like honestly it makes fishing a lot more like detail you understand it a lot more with all those extra things they add in but yeah let's put on the next armor here the snow sloth set i'm wearing a flinx on my head very nice made out of real flinx look the, the top one says made out of real flinx the this one says made of real flinks i don't know why they like change that sentence but yeah the set bonus immunity to chilled and frozen debuffs increase health regen and defense while on the snow and glowing mushroom biomes cool i don't know why the glowing mushroom biomes maybe it's a part of the recipe either way my character looks cool as hell rocking this next up though we got the werewolf armor set here let's put this on set bonus increases fishing damage and bobs by five percent werewolves like you you'll love to see it 
all right next set here we got the star mix set here gives double defense in hard mode i don't know is this a pre-hard mode set i believe it is a pre-hard mode set but you can rock it in hard mode set bonus is increase the fishing damage and bob speed of course bob speed i believe refers to like how fast the battle rod ticks an enemy so you know how like it would tick for 10 damage and then one two ten damage one two ten damage you put on stuff that increases bob speed i believe it's like one second per hit now obviously that's just a random example but like we can show it off here blue slime we hit it once and then you see how long we gotta wait for another hit we put on an armor that increases that we might accidentally kill this slime in one hit oh no there you go and it's a little bit faster as you can see obviously that's a wooden battle rod so maybe not the greatest example but you understand it. next up we got the meteorite hat i like this it's like bees and meteorite put together let's put it on Oh my god, it's so beautiful. This is the thumbnail armor set, as you may notice. Set bonuses spawns fire bees, as you saw that giant fire bee that popped out. Go ahead, spawn went in. Do I need to walk around? Yeah, I feel like I do need to walk around to trigger it. Cool. And it also looks cool. My second favorite set next to the flinks one so far in terms of looks. After that, we got the evil sets here, the darkness one and the blood one. Let's throw these on. Boom, bada, bing. Read through the armors real quick. And the set bonus. Fishing knives do double damage at double the tile range. If no fishing knife is equipped, provides wooden fishing knife effect. So obviously that's uh, kind of something we haven't went over yet. But here's some knives right here. Attacks enemies who are almost touching you once every two seconds. So you get the idea then with the set bonus. And then let's put on the blood one. The blood one has the same effect cool that's usually how it is when it comes to like demonite and uh crimtain stuff all right and our last three armor sets we got the hard triad set emphasis on the hard because it's a hard mode armor set obviously set bonus adds 10 percent mana siphoning when hooked my bad siphoning <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to say that. Is that like a hybrid of some sort of mana siphoning? I don't know. After that, we got the life force set here. Cool. Let's throw it on. Set bonus adds 50 max health and max mana. Nice. Ninja dodge effect. Also nice. 5% chance to nullify projectile. That sounds cool. Producers are going light. Truffle worms won't flee from you. Great armor set. Love it. And last but not least, the final set in the mod, the fractalite stuff. And this might also be one of my favorite looking sets. Look how cool our character looks my boy got the fishing goggles on but yeah here you go go ahead and read through all this if you guys want and then let's read the set bonus adds 200 max health and max mana that's crazy you see what i mean when i said that this class could get pretty damn strong 10 percent chance to nullify a projectile double max flight time if you have wings otherwise provides invisible wings yo that's pretty cool produces strong glow night vision let's take off my wings and let's see oh my god i'm literally just levitating to the heavens that is amazing i like that all right there we go there was all the armor sets let us move on to i guess let's do accessories let's do these accessories right here then all right so we got the fishing knives attacks enemies who are almost touching you once every two seconds 15 base damage weak knockback double damage to enemies stuck to your bobber uh i wonder if there's an animation for it let me get like a decent rod here let me get the edge battle rod that's a pretty decent one and then let's bring out some enemies here goblin warrior stab them with the knife i don't know it's gonna be kind of weird to like notice when the knife pops out i need to see how the animation looks like for the knife like, do I need to be close to an enemy too? I have no idea. That big puff of smoke could have covered the knife swing. All right, what other knives do we have here though? We got the professional one, which does more damage and attacks every second, not one second, every second it attacks something. So if an enemy is stuck to our bobber, it does even more damage. The knife, that is. So I want to see here, if I just bring in a bunch of enemies and just walk near them, will the knife pop out or do I need to be attacking? <laughs> maybe i need to be attacking what if i do that and then just slowly follow them <laughs> i don't know oh there you go it hit something unless the bobber got stuck to him maybe the bobber got stuck to him i'm not seeing this knife pop out i don't know maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm doing something wrong who knows we got the blazing one does more damage inflicts solar fire that sounds crazy we got the fractalite one does even more damage and inflicts frost fire cool this attacks twice per second that's pretty crazy maybe it's not attacking because i'm in god mode let's see that i will get out of god mode and we will see if the enemies get attacked by it there we go i think that was the problem it was just god mode honestly makes sense 
as you can see the knife in action they all do the same thing pretty much though so we don't really need to show each of them one by one but very cool i like that i like that idea all right on to the next stuff here we got these rods or my bad shafts we got the mana shield shaft up to 15 percent of all damage received is deducted from your mana instead so let's go ahead let's take some damage here and let's look at our mana okay maybe these guys aren't doing enough damage to be deducting from our mana let's bring in no that's just you know what maybe this guy will do something wait did i equip the accessory no i did i feel like i don't know is this working <laughs> all right on to the next one maybe we need a stronger one literally this one is called the stronger one up to 30 percent of all damage receives deducted from your mana up to 50 percent of all damage receives deducted from your mana instead 30 percent chance to disable an incoming hostile projectile if hooked to an enemy that sounds pretty cool all right 50 percent 50 percent let's see bring in a scarecrow our damn our mana should reduce oh i'm holding the tome oh come on i have no idea how that works <laughs> do i need to be hooked onto an enemy or something i don't know I, I i guess i'm stupid or something all right next up we got the cape of worms this sounds amazing oh and it's actually on my back so it says that it spawns worms truffles will not flee from you okay i need to walk on grass probably okay i have no idea how often it spawns worms it just says spawns worms as you walk am i tripping or like are half these accessories like not working okay truffle worms will no longer flee from you i believe that one at least let's bring in a truffle oh look there's a little arrow pointing at it okay the truffle's not fleeing but like i'm not seeing any worms spawning i don't know why as you can see there's <laughs> there's a lot more accessories <laughs> we might have to go over some of these pretty quickly let's go ahead let's pop out all these i guess i have no idea at this point i think these are all kind of the same accessory we got the omni lure forces only one lure but with 15 percent more damage interesting so i'm assuming if you got ones that shoot out like two this one i believe shoots out two yeah look at that we put this on it shoots out one but it does 15 percent more damage cool cool i get it i get it and then we got this extra one so this shoots out one extra one as you can see it kind of makes sense here you kind of get the idea the more lures obviously the more things you can fish up and obviously the more lures the more damage you do to something so this one gives us four extra ones look at that now we got what six we got this one allows for eight extra lines so we should have 10 after that this one allows 16 extra lines and then last but not least least allows for 32 extra lines god damn <laughs> we literally like explode in extra lines let's bring out the king slime here hit this boy with some uh some extra lines we can also you know actually do some damage to uh multiple enemies that spawn in here i don't know why it's doing two damage maybe the more lures you shoot out the less damage i have no idea i thought we would do more damage honestly but i guess maybe it's dividing the damage amongst each lure so like i would have to whip out a hard mode one to do like some crazy ass damage all right next up we got these metronomes here fast metronome slow metronome and then there's upgrades uh increases bob speed by 10 percent, but decreases fishing damage by eight and then if you the slow one crease fishing damage but decrease bob speed so you get the idea and then they just get stronger and stronger makes sense very so fairly simple accessory cool idea though all right next up i don't know i'm just gonna grab a bunch of stuff here <laughs> hopefully they're somewhat the same theme we got the mana escalation reel increasing bobber damage by two percent each second but cost eight mana per second so this one's gonna use mana so kind of like a hybrid class having uh, to use a little bit of mana if you use certain accessories and then we got a stronger one and then we got a maximum one so let me put this maximum one on look at the mana being actually used this time all right next up we got a bob scope tries to hit all your bobbers where your cursor is aiming oh you love to hear it you know because usually i'd be having troubles aiming the bobbers okay this still does not feel like the greatest successor <laughs> honestly it seems kind of useless i don't know was it that bad aiming a uh, bob accelerator increases your casting speed by 30 percent cool we got discardable bobbers allows you to recast very fast if bobs are retrieved from an enemy right click with the rod i have no idea what the hell that means <laughs> i will be 100 percent honest with you faster fishing kit so this is just like a, these three accessories all in one all right we got a bunch of wires here a hookshot wire always reeled in towards the enemy okay so instead of me reeling up the enemy i reel in towards it cool if you want to get reeled in towards an enemy for some reason titan wire can always reel in the enemy no matter the size except if a mobile whoa now this sounds amazing i could reel in the king slime what have i been lied to wait hold on i think i pressed the wrong button oh my god 
Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. All right, next up, we got the redirector wire. Thor's damage is instead dealt equally to all enemies with your bobber attached. Cool. This one, I feel like we don't really need to show off. It's just, it's a Thor's effect. Uh, link cable. Damage increased by amount of bobbers stuck to different enemies. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if you get the like 32 bobbers, combine it with the link cable, that's more damage. We got the thorny redirector wire. Thor's damage is also dealt equally to all enemies with your bobber attached. Did, didn't I just read that? Okay, so this one equally does it to all enemies. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, next up, Moonwire. Increases fishing damage based on the weather, time, and moon phase. Ooh. We got the Siphoning Wire. Provides 10% mana siphon on damage dealt with the Bobbers. I don't know why I said Bobbers like that. That one can be pretty useful with the, um, the, the other accessory. What was the other accessory? This one, the Escalation Reel. We got the Vampire one. Does lifesteal. Cool. Let me go ahead and get some lifesteal. You know, I am missing some health. Uh, we got the vacuum wire. Items in contact with the bobber will be picked up. Kind of cool. Let me go ahead. Let me take this one out. Any items anywhere? Yeah, go ahead. Vacuum these up. Vacuum them up, please. Vacuum them up. Maybe I got to kill something. Yeah, kind of. It's bringing the gel and the money to me. And then we got the sinker. Mix bobbers sink into the water when cast. Does not allow for fishing. Also, 5% bob stream fishing damage increase if the player is underwater. Cool. So instead of fishing above the water, it just sinks to the bottom, which can be useful if you're trying to like fight something. All right, last up for this chest, and then we still got one more chest full of accessories. Long video, I know. All right, we got worm aside. Doubles bobber damage when stuck on a worm-like enemy. Ooh, eater of worlds. Uh, we got urgency bobber speeder. The lower the health, the bob the faster the bobber moves. Cool. Uh, crate calling hook. 5% chance for the enemy dropping a crate on kill. Crate depends on the type of rod used. That's actually really nice, because, you know, fishing playthroughs do usually evolve around crates the majority of the time. Uh, we got a currency hook. 0.5% chance for a hooked enemy to drop some money after a bob money type changes with the game progression let's see drop some cash uh, well he usually drops cash when they die we got the hook set which is like a bunch of these hooks together okay maybe let's do that one last barbed hook increases fish crit uh super barbed hook also increases fishing crit increase the fishing damage of enemies underwater cool sealed hook seals bobbers stuck enemies what the fuck did i just read i almost had an aneurysm right there seals bobbers stuck enemies damage by 20 percent increases fishing damage based on player altitude Ooh. <laughs> so if i'm all the way up in the heavens fishing down here you know i'm doing some extra damage uh, let's see here i kind of want to use that and then this one is a bunch of these put together but uh let's let's use the heavenly hook i'm gonna hit the king slime and then i'm gonna ascend to the heavens and then our damage should be going up right oh he kind of pulling me down he's kind of pulling me down <laughs> it's doing a little bit more damage though I feel kind of bad for the King Simon. We're kind of like bullying him in this video. Somebody had to get bullied. I'm sorry it had to be him. All right. And now for our last set of accessories here. Finally, we got this one. Bait Disperser. Inflicts used bait debuffs to all surrounding enemies in an eight block radius. That sounds pretty cool. And then this one is a stronger one. 16 block radius. Fish Slicer. Turns all caught fish into fish steaks. Mm, delicious. Killing Gate. Converts caught items with a max stack of one into coins. Turns all caught fish fish into fish steaks coins and steak what else could you want in life sell gate converts caught items with a max stack of one into coins i like these these are some like quality of life type things turret bobbers bobbers will not hook to any enemy 30 percent extra fishing damage how does that work if they don't hook onto anything how does that work do they shoot i have no idea <laughs> if it doesn't hook on the enemies where, where, where's the damage coming from i don't know maybe there's a rod later on that uses that uh we got the smart bobbers bobbers will try to distribute themselves equally on targeting enemies on a two block range i like that and then we got selective bobbers here i believe these are all selective bobbers only one bobber will hook to the same enemy okay so that, that's pretty cool i like the idea of that and then we got bob loser removes one fishing line from the rod using it one line will always remain okay interesting so that upgrades to four times cool i'll be honest half of these accessories i have no idea what the hell they're talking about and then half of them i understood and then like half of them didn't work could just be that i'm stupid easily or they also just didn't work all right let's move on here finally let's move on to the next thing which is gonna be these items right here and this item there's this item which is an equipable summon i believe or actually this might just be a summon weapon i thought it was a equipable pet but look at that fish who doesn't love a fish summon right who doesn't love summons period but we got some weapons here you may be like yeah, where are these weapons from i'll tell you in a second all right but first let's try them out we got this pack of beer not so cold anymore 
Let's go ahead. Let's just start throwing beer at things. Who wants to get hit by a beer? Uh, next up, we got the ice creamer, which I don't have ammo for. I have no idea what the ammo is. I would assume snow. I figured it out. It's snowballs. The wiki said it's just a colored snowball launcher. Wow, look at that. Who wants to get hit by my colored snowball launcher? It does shoot three at once, which is pretty good. Not bad. Next up, we got magic soda. Shake and spray damage usually decreases with distance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you ever wanted to bust the soda can on some enemies, here you go. Who's trying to get busted on? All right, next up, we got the melon brand. Throws melon slices on swing. Awesome. <laughs> A melon sword. Very nice. Now, the place where you get this is one of my favorite features from this mod, and that is the boss it adds in. It adds in a little boss here. Let's summon it the uh, regular way you're supposed to summon it, which is this right here. Odd crate. Let's go ahead. Let's place it, and then let's right click on it. Oh my god, it's a crate mimic. No, this is not how you fight the boss. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, here you go. There's a crate mimic in this mod. This is how you're supposed to catch it. The icy worm bait. Let's go ahead. Let's throw this in here, and we should fish up the boss i have no idea how this works if i'm being honest <laughs> wait maybe i just use it oh i just use it okay and then as you can see cooler has awoken where is he though he ain't that cool because he ain't trying to fight me where is he he's all the way down here <laughs> hey what's up bro what are, you, what are you doing down here Let, let's go up to the surface oh my god he looks a lot scarier than i remember like he got a whole ass like mouth and stuff opening up here he drops fish on us okay pretty cool he's got like a front view which is how he, i remember how you looked like before i did i don't remember this little like side view it seems like he has like mimic ai but still a boss is a boss and i love the idea that a cooler is a boss in this like a fish cooler and it literally is dropping fish on us very nice like the idea let's move on to the hard mode battle rods here so we can go ahead and finish this long ass video up all right so we got a good majority of rods here that are just like fairly the same like i don't even know if i want to even use them because obviously most of these are just ore ones and then we got the uh the evil ones that siphon health mana whatever you need to siphon cool let's use it on a boss okay he's gonna run away i didn't even mean to spawn him in if i'm being honest but yeah they, they do good damage you know these are like fairly early hard mode rods but we want to see the special ones we want to see the cool ones and that's what we're gonna get into here literal cool one yet again imbued with the power of frost fire let me see that frost fire in action oh my god that's a good bit of damage right there Next up, we got the Forbidden One. Watch out for Sand Nados. Ooh. Now, does this actually shoot out Sand Nados? I, I didn't see any, but, you know, I, I feel like I'll take its word for it. All right, next up, we got the Hollowed One. Super effective against bosses. Okay, this one just does good damage and obviously good against bosses. So if you fight a boss, boom, you might want to use that one. And then we got the hard triad one. Good against bosses, but best against regular enemies. Generates tornadoes when wet and inflicts frostfire. Do I have to be wet? Maybe I have to be wet. Let me stand in the water and attack an enemy. Oh, there we go. See, those are the tornadoes that I thought this one was promising. All right, next up, we got the BD right one. Spawns fire bees that inflict on fire and any other debuffs your baits may have. Bait time decrease each time bees get spawned. Cool. Let's go ahead. Let's see it in action here. I want to see the fire bees spawn in. Oh, there you go. The fire bees do decent damage. and They might be upgradable with like bee accessories. Next up, we got the spooky one. Shoots bats. So instead of shooting bees, we're shooting bats now. Let me see it in action. Bats should do more damage, right? I don't know. I feel like they would. I do like the uh, bobber is a, or the hook is a pumpkin cool next up we got the chlorophyte one spread spores when idle so do i just like sit still okay maybe i gotta put it on an enemy no idea <laughs> no idea what the definition of idle is obviously me standing still can be very dangerous if i'm not in god mode so no idea what they mean by idle all right let's go ahead and take out some more tough ones here we are getting towards the end uh we got the turtle one reflects all damage when attached that sounds cool also does a lot of damage 300 like this should be a big boy hit look at that we got the beetle battle rod releases beetles we got a lot of them that like release like animals and bugs whatever this one the beetles should do good damage bats beetles bees oh my god that releases a lot of them we got the shroomite one spreads mushrooms when idle surprisingly fast again i'm gonna sit here and do nothing i don't see anything 
and then I'm standing still. Uh, I'm being idle. This is idle, right? <laughs> I'm not seeing any mushrooms. I don't know, bro. All right, next up, we got the Spectre one. Spreads magnet spheres when idle. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> Just imagine the magnet sphere attack, okay? I thought this one was going to be like fish through the floor or something. That's usually what Spectre stuff is. Like go through blocks. All right, next up, drains life force from your opponents. That one we kind of don't really need to see. It's just lifesteal. Oh, look at that. Magnusphere. What the? I wasn't even using the Magnusphere one. Wait a minute. I think these two. Oh, no. This is a life force battle. Right? I thought this was a Martian invasion one. I was about to say, like, I think these two should switch. No, no, no. It makes sense. It makes sense. Fishron Battle Rod, King of the Seas, releases bubbles. Doesn't say you have to be idle. I didn't see any bubbles there. Am I not choosing strong enough enemies? I have no idea. We got the Betsy one. Inflicts his Betsy curse. Lost two different powered baits at once. Cool. I guess let's bring out a boss. Oh, that's good damage, baby. You love to see it. All right, we should be at our last set of rods here, I hope. We got this one. Dragon Mix inflicts Betsy Curse, releases bubbles. Okay, we kind of already saw this one, but might as well see it again. I got to spawn in an enemy that doesn't leave more enemies behind. All right, we got the Terra Battle Rod. Legendary Rod shoots blades when idle. Another, another thing that shoots when idle. Oh, there you go. Look, it actually shot that time. But I was kind of jumping around. That's not really idle. Uh, and then we got the uh, pillar ones here. The nebula one releases helpful pickups when wet. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Uh, are they talking about like the, the buffs you get? Maybe that's what they're talking about. All right, that was a bad example of a boss this morning. Maybe they are talking about the buffs you get that you usually get when you use uh, nebula stuff. Let's see. I am wet right now. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. So it does release the little buffs you get from the nebula armor. We got the Stardust one. Creates two Stardust cell minions. Ooh, that could be pretty good. I like the idea of that. Let me bring in some strong enemies here. Baby Mothron. Damn. One tap in the Baby Mothron. We got the Vortex ones. Fire homing bullets really fast. Stop. Homing bullets. Activate. Okay, the... Homing bullets, activate. Come on, man. Yeah, I need something stronger. Homing bullets. <laughs> I don't want to bring in a boss, but I might have to. All right, boss. Homing bullets. Shoot. Oh, there you go. I saw him. I saw him for like a second. We got this one. Creates an area where it inflicts enemies with solar fire debuff. Okay. Oh, I like that one. That one would be very nice for crowd control. But you get it like at the end of the game. So like it wouldn't really matter. Fractalite Battle Rod does a lot of damage. Creates an area where it inflicts enemies. Oh, okay. So this is just like all of them in one. All the, the solar stuff in one. Let's bring out like a hard mode enemy here. Plantera. Okay. Terrible aim. Obviously this is enraged Plantera. But look how much damage it is doing. No armor. No accessories. No special bait on. Enraged Plantera. And that only took like 20 seconds, maybe even less than that. I'm telling you, it's a strong class. And last but not least, the rod containment unit. The ultimate battle rod creates a large area around the bobbers that damage whoever's inside. Okay, so the little like burst effect they got going on, I'm assuming. If something is in there, it takes damage. Let's bring in like a big boy enemy, Duke. Let's hit the Duke with this rod and oh my God, look at the damage. Again, no armor, no accessories, no bait. It does so much damage, bro. That is just crazy. All right, there you go. There was all the rods. That's pretty much it to the mod. There's a couple more things here scattered around. There's a pet, steak, <laughs> potions, obviously materials to craft stuff. Master bait box. Uh, there's a lot of new fishing crates, which are really cool. Uh, a lot more than I remember. So they definitely added in some new ones. And then obviously there's the baits. I probably did something wrong and we didn't get them working. But you understand the baits. They just inflict, you know, the debuff on enemies. But yeah, pretty cool mod. I like it. If I ever do a fishing playthrough again, I'll probably be using this mod because this mod is amazing. Now I do have one more thing. I, I guess I'll show it off. But it requires me to go into Team Model Loader 1.4. All right, to finish off the video here, I'm in team mod 1.4 and i found a mod called fishing reborn which adds in a couple of tweaks here and there to fishing actually makes it a lot more fun but the best part is that it adds in the stardew mini game <laughs> very very nice 
I have no idea if this is the fish we're catching or not. Hold up. Let me get the crate right here. Oh, I didn't get the crate. I caught the fish. I'm too good. But yeah, it's just like Stardew. Each fish has its own like difficulty. So obviously rare fish are probably going to be more difficult to catch. But like I love the Stardew minigame. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Like even the harder ones I've gotten used to finally like struggling to catch the harder fish in Stardew. I've gotten used to it. I've learned their powder patterns. Hold up. Let me get this crate get away let me get this crate and then now let's catch it but yeah i've learned its patterns i've caught at least one legendary fish ever in stardew i, I know how to play the game but very cool i just wanted to show it off because i feel like that would also be a nice little addition to terraria having a little mini game maybe if they ever do the terraria x stardew update which they gotta do come on we know it's coming i see the developers talk about it but if they ever do that maybe they can add that little mini game to fishing you know what i'm saying it's possible but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out all the mods these couple editions would make fishing a lot more fun especially fishing only playthroughs i do enjoy fishing in terraria sometimes it becomes a little bit of a hassle because you know it's a little bit slow and a little bit boring but sometimes it can be enjoyable and sometimes the rewards are worth it really only the time i'd be fishing in terraria is like blood moon now but yeah hope you guys the video i'll see y'all next time